hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today in this video we are going to talk about push notifications so all day we have different types of apps installed in our phone and we keep getting notifications from these different kinds of apps uh, so are these apps are not like working in the state like when we get these notifications like there are also times when our phone is just sitting idle and we are some getting some notifications it can be some chat notifications from the messages you are getting or it can be just small small notification like from uber you get like this is a discount going on or from zomato like why aren't you ordering food something like that sorts so in this video we are going to talk about how these notifications actually come to your phone so uh, why is this even topic to discuss like uh, what's big deal about push notifications so let's see first that so uh, when we are talking about push notifications we are not making any call to the server uh, so your phone is just sitting idle and it is not making any call to the server then how are you getting a uh, basically a notification or what to call a response generally whatever happens on the web that is kind of a pull based model that is you as a client make a request to the server and the server sends you a particular response now the server is sending you a particular response but in this case you are not asking for anything you are not sending any request so how does this happen so will in this case you will keep polling like one solution can be if you think that you keep sending http request check if there is some notification and then get it back but that would be too costly because you will keep the server busy you would also have a lot of apps in your phone so you will keep polling from all the servers so that this model is never going to work then how does this push notifications occur so let's discuss two scenarios in this one is when your app is actually open and the other is when your app is closed and your phone is sitting idle on the side so first let's suppose a simple scenario when when your app is open so in this case you already have some connection made with the server if the server has to send you a request it can simply send that on that open tcp connection uh, which is from your uh, device to the server so in that case is it it is simple but consider your phone is sitting idle the app is closed then how will the server initiate a connection with your device now that is a tough thing to do so how will this occur so this is when cloud messaging servers come into the place now if these were not there the client the server would have to keep a tcp connection open at all times where it can send you notifications so consider that you have a phone and there are always some background processes running which are ensuring that you are getting the notifications so at all times your phone memory and cpu would be utilized in running these processes so this generally does not happen and whatever uh, os your does your phone has uh, it basically kills these background processes if they are not in use for a long time then how do you get these notifications so that's when cloud messaging service servers come into the place cloud messaging servers now what these servers do is basically they have just one tcp connection open in your mobile so at all times you have just one tcp connection open on which there are various notifications which are coming so consider that at all times there is just one tcp connection open which is connected to this cloud cloud messaging servers now whenever an app has to send a notification it makes a call to the cloud messaging server and then that server pushes this uh, call to your device through the open one single open connection now this call would contain uh, the package name like this package name can be uh, uh, like to which application this notification belongs it belongs to uber it belongs to swiggy zomato whatever and also the data which is sent in the notification so also you might have also observed this that whenever you open your phone like you have not been using your phone for quite a long time even this connection can sometimes get closed and as soon as you open your phone and connect it to the internet then a lot of push notifications start coming 
it is even possible that some apps are not able to send the notifications through through this cloud messaging server so what they do is that as soon as you open an app so I have this thing with medium app so if you open the medium app then only you get a lot of notifications otherwise it is very rare that you are getting notifications so as soon as you open an app then a connection is built between your device and the server then it is easy to send the notification but uh, the main issue is when your device is logged or closed so how this happens is that the application server whichever has to send the request it it connects to the cloud messaging server they say that uh, uh, hey just push this notification to the device the cloud messaging server uh, uh, informs your mobile phone that this is the notification for this app and you then see the notification so this is how the push notifications work now in this let's discuss one example which is quite a complicated scenario when along with the notifications you also have to do some work in the background now whenever you see whatsapp or any chat application notification that you have received this message and as soon as you open the app you are able to see those messages in the chat window also like suppose a sent you some message you got this notification but when you open the app you also see that a has sent in the a's chat you will see those messages so how does that happen so uh, basically you are you are trying to update the cache of the database or your chat application in the backend when you receive the notification now as we discussed before that this is happening through the cloud messaging servers now how does this allow to do some action like that so in this uh, it gives an option of two seconds to do some work so in this what it says that when we will publish the notification it also allows you to give one call back where you can also update uh, your cache anything which finishes between two seconds so uh, basically you simply make a uh, like when you have to update your cache you write it in that callback function and wh whenever you receive that chat notification there is a call to update your phone's mobile cache also but sometimes it is not possible to finish the work in two seconds so in this case it allows you to create a background service uh, like which gets triggered as soon as the notification comes so uh, this you can see whenever your chat is backed up at the night so you get a notification that your phone is bagging up and that notification remains open until your phone is completely backed up so in that case a background service has started which is backing up your chats so that's how they are able to do some work also after the notifications are pushed to your device so that's how, how push notifications work and perform all the things which they have to in the background and I hope you liked this video if you did press the like button and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.